all right then guys welcome back so today we are going to show you the dm builder now this dm builder is absolutely naughty i can't even lie to you when it comes to this in terms of actual even 11 mans as well it works perfectly this was the first build i've probably done which works just as balanced whether you play 11s or if you even play small man as well the balance on this one is a joke so let me get into it here as well so call it the destroyer because honestly in midfield honestly you could intercept a phone call honestly it is a joke this build has just been perfect for me in there as well and i've got a lot of people to try it out i don't just give you a build and tell you this is what it is i have to get people to try it not just me to make sure it works with other people as well and they all love this build so let me show you what we've got so first of all left wing back you can do right wing back it doesn't really matter just make sure you use the wing back build as well five foot eleven which is probably either a little bit smaller for some people when they play competitive or even sometimes people like to go even smaller this is usually the midway one i never usually recommend this but for some reason the balance this year absolutely perfect 178 pounds nice and easy in the middle kind of balanced there as well this build is all about balance and it actually works with balance as well so i'm going to show you why 178 pounds as well when we go to the play styles left foot because you know me but if you know already if you've seen videos before any other build left foot always don't ask why it's just better just stop asking questions you comment before last time asking why 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 now pace i do max out the pace which is quite surprising for me as well um maxing out the pace here make sure you go all the way out because you really want that speed especially when you think situations where you're trying to cover down the wing stuff like that as well when you're trying to help out people you need that pace as well you need to be able to get back and forth your speed you're going to nip in you're going to make with the speed as well as other stuff as well you'll be so balanced as well for interceptions you'll nip in you'll get there it's all perfect don't worry don't panic i have you covered shooting nothing on your shooting you're a dm why are you worrying you're not doing it just stop it just stop right there passing now with the passing kind of cover pretty much all of the right hand side you're not really going to be out wide to be crossing the ball and you don't really need anything over 81 long pass as i said before as soon as you get to the 81 mark and higher you kind of get the same kind of animations in the same similar ranges maybe actually a little less so but range wise it still get that as well so if you do need to switch it stuff like that you'd be more than comfortable to do it the lb wise every now and then will still be decent but the short pass 92 a lot of your passes should really be short passes you should be dictating play kind of really taking it there and punching that, them into the cam or the striker or playing out wide. You don't really need to be playing that many long passes. Vision so you can get them angles on it as well. It is important you do have this archetype, archetype on as well. It is perfect. I didn't, as I said, didn't really see the need for there as well, but maybe as you get to that, I'm honestly not level 97. The last couple you can maybe add it on there, but I think it could probably be able to be used over here. Um, over here, get enough agility over there because again, once you're over that 72 mark on agility, you are kind of perfect in that area. You don't really need to worry about it. Your everything else here, it's just kind of topping everything up so you got comfortable. Just to pretty much so you're comfortable, I would say you probably look to work your way down maybe towards here uh, if needed. Uh, but honestly, for what you're going to play like, and as is DM as well, you're a destroyer. Get the ball, play it off. You don't need to be going on runs, so stop worrying about your dribbling being so high. It is going to be just enough, as well as your build and everything there as well, which is why you don't go so tall. If you were a little bit taller, I would say have your dribbling higher so you can actually maneuver the ball around. But this I'm saying it's all about balance. This is the perfect balance build. You don't need to worry about it. 80 ball, 81 ball control, 79 dribbling. With your size and your speed as well, you'll be absolutely fine turning. Don't worry. I promise you, you'll be fine. Uh, don't panic. Now, defending, when you head over here, kind of cover all of this besides the middle part. I just didn't really see the need for it right now as well. But again, it could be something we use when we actually go on. To actually get to level 100, the last couple of levels, you could use it there. But have that Guardian on there as well. It's so important you have the Guardian on there. Again, you do need that as well. Physical, pretty much over here is where I'd probably go with anything. To up that strength a little bit. Um, you kind of have your guys so well built. I promise you, it looks like the weirdest, most balanced, kind of average looking build. But for some reason, it just works an absolute treat. So make sure you're using this build. I promise you, it's just, it's just got it all. I don't understand why. It was so good. Someone recommended something similar to me. Uh, I ran with it, kind of played with it a little bit, got people to try it out, got him to adjust his build, and it just worked so much better. Some reason, you got to realise in this game, having the great stats and whatever, the game likes to reward certain things. The game has certain things that just break meta. This breaks meta. I don't know why. I hate the game because of it, but trust me, this is where it's at. That's all you need for your attributes there as well. 
over to the play styles probably a lot of them are quite obvious for you intercept now intercept plus if you don't choose to put this one on you're an idiot i'm not even gonna lie to you you're stupid because this build is this one here this intercept it's just perfect for the build it tops it all off kind of really rounds it all up and with your defensive stats as well this will be absolutely perfect for you so i definitely say intercept plus that's your key don't really go anything else anticipate plus is also where you want to go that is very important for this one uh going over here ping pass because obviously you are going to play a lot of short passes just kind of knocking the ball around allowing people to be able to turn out with the ball and not lose as it says there as well it's not going to impact anybody as well it's not going to make them struggle to talk the ball you're just going to knock the ball out to them you could potentially swap one of these in anticipate as well with this if you're really someone who wants to play more creatively but that's not this isn't the build for you i should be completely real with you if you want a build where you can kind of dictate get on the ball half turn almost like a more of an eight in playing in that dm role instead of being like more of a six or a four whatever you want to call it then i would say yeah i can get you that build i can get that sorted so make sure you comment down below let me know if you want that build i will get that sorted uh jockey these are the few defensive ones that you need again with bruiser as well because you want to get in there and this is what i'm saying this is what i'm saying about being a kind of mid-size these little ones will just boost you up anyway so there's no point whacking your strength really high and a lot of the defend a lot of the attackers they're gonna be weaker than you anyway if you play certain sites i believe like vpg anyway they can't have anybody over this size anyway. Five foot eleven is the highest they can be, or six foot. So you're going to be in and around them, and with your kind of build anyway and your defensive stats, you out you'll outrank them. So don't stress, don't panic. This is still the perfect build for you. Press proven. This one's the one that's going to be key for you. So as we know, we're only five foot eleven. The strength isn't necessarily super high. So press proven is going to be when you're kind of caught on the ball a little bit and you feel like you may have just been caught under the ball. This is where it's going to be key. You need to make sure you have it locked in. So when anyone is pressing you, coming from behind, if you do take maybe a bad touch, this will allow you, whilst trying to jog forward, to keep hold of the ball. That is key. Think of any kind of DM when he kind of chills the ball and then you can play it off safely as well. That is why you need to have that one on there. Quick step is going to give you that little additional boost as well, just so you can really push away from people when you are driving. If you are trying to catch up with somebody that's sprinting in, a lot of strikers are going to have this on. All wingers, you need to make sure you have that to kind of at least match it out, not just with your stats, but play style for play style, because we all know that's what the game likes to do. And relentless, if I need to explain this one to you, then you need help. You need to make sure you have that on there as well, because it's going to allow you to keep up. It's going to allow you to keep going constantly. You can... They don't have to get broken down as much. You can kind of feel like you can press constantly all game long. You can even potentially put this as one of your gold ones as well. It'll still be pretty decent for you as well. But guys, that's it for me today. Make sure whatever kind of build you do want, you comment down below. And again, let me know how you play. Let me know what kind of thing you're looking for. And just a quick run for you again. Left wing back, 5'11", 178 pounds, left foot. This is going to be your destroyer, your interceptor. Good luck. Make sure when you try the build out, comment down below. Give feedback for it. Whatever you find, if there's a different build you want, as I said, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.